Yeah, I gotta say something. It was a fake Instagram out there. <laughs> That's not yeah, me, bro. That's a fact. I should be posted. Not you, yeah, but I should. Not it's me, bro. It's a fake page, like it's gonna run. City team, we have a very special guest, Rich Nunu, dropping hits like Backdoor, Running Trip, and he guys, he has a whole gang with him. We got G Pay in the building. We got two, three, two, three. How's it going? How's life? How's everything? It's crazy, right? I can know? tell. I'm working up. Right, I can see the work. You know, every song is getting like 100k, 200k, closing on a mill. How's that feeling? Like you getting all these numbers and it keeps racking up. Every single you drop, it's getting higher numbers. How's that feeling? I mean, it feel good, but I'm trying to get more though. Like that's not really nothing I really want right now. I want. I'm trying to get to 500k a mill. I'm not really getting noticed though, so I'm trying to get noticed. Mm. Mm. So, a lot. So speaking about you saying you're not getting noticed, right? I spoke to a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. and every single person says Rich Nunu is up next. I and I spoke to a lot, and they're like Rich Nunu got it. So people are recognizing your game. How are you gonna translate into like a mainstream success? Like you already got the artists behind your back. Like how are you gonna translate that into the fans? Shit. I'll probably just keep dropping. Probably, probably try changing my flow. Mm. Like, stuff not from drill, uh, for me, like some regular shit, like, like on some sleepy, some Chef G type shit. Mm. So you want to tap into the melodic way? Yeah. Right. Let's speak about drill. For me, drill can't get on the radio. I'm trying to get on the radio. Right. Um, what song do you think that you made so far? Maybe on release. It could be released that you think has potential to be on the radio on Hot 97, Power 105. I got some unreleased shit. Unreleased. But, if I ain't mention like people inside the song, listen up, probably been on the radio. I know oh. people don't like to hear that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people. But like, listen up, I, like on my Dolly, I made, the, I got the 100K. Can you show that shit on YouTube? Or, yeah, I got the 100K on that shit. I feel like that shit should like, be on the radio. When did you realize you can turn this into a rap, a career? Like, like was it the first paycheck? Was it like your first 100K? When did you realize like, oh shit, people are actually tuning in? I can turn this into something like bigger than I thought it was supposed to be. <laughs> He's shaking his head. Nah, like at first, at first I wasn't making drill songs. I wasn't getting noticed, and I, I used to make regular songs like, like singing type songs. Nobody wasn't noticing me. I'm like, man, what should I do? I see everybody doing the drill movement, so I'm like, alright. When I dropped the song called PSA, Mad Longo, you, you saw that? Oh yeah, like I dropped like, like, a year and a half ago. Yeah, a year ago? yeah. I dropped that. When I dropped that, I, I didn't even dropped the. I just dropped the preview on Facebook. I see everybody sharing it, all the girls sharing it. I'm like, oh, so I see everybody fucking watch. I do drill, everybody gonna fuck me. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna drill it. And I said, everybody just started showing me love. And you started out doing singing, and now you turn into drill. What do you listen to then? Do you prefer listening to drill over singing, or like, you know, do you prefer listening to like a Chef G over a Stunner Gambino, or what? Do you, what's in your ears all the time? Nah, yeah, I, I like singing shit. Like singing shit. Who are some of your people that you like to listen to? Fuck, I listen to um, a bunch. Hey, but that's the go. I ain't laughing. Hey, that nigga, that nigga, nice. Who else I be listening to? Um, shit. I don't know who I be listening to. Who? Third. Oh, that's not. Polo G. Polo G. Polo G. Shit. Oh, my cousin here. He a good. He he nice. He, I seen him. His name Al Fetty. I mean, I listen wow. to him. And he spoke about. He said Dirk Polo. You said a boogie. If yeah. you had to choose out of those three people to make a song right now, who would it be? No, I gotta go with boogie. Boogie, why do you think you gravitate to? Nah, boogie? I go with Dirk. I go with Dirk. Why you go? <laughs> nah, I go with Dirk, bro. But a hey, boogie be talking that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Especially about the he be wild. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, let's take it back. How? What inspired you to become a rapper in the first place? Um, I don't know. Maybe because the attention I was getting. Mm. I like the attention, but then I started not that like that. I had to like I, was, I wasn't getting a lot of attention when I first made music. That's why. So now I'm starting to get a lot of attention in my life. But before it was really what inspired me was the attention. Attention. So were you like 
did you get the attention before besides the music? Like, were you? Oh yeah, yeah, facts. Like, were you always like a funny type of person, or? No, like, I was just regular nigga, but famous, but like not famous, but like one of them niggas like take a flick, I'll get three hundred, like oh. really famous, shit like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, was um music was always your passion, or did you have another passion? No, I was playing football. You was playing football. Yeah. Well, all right. So I got a quick question. If you was wide receiver and he was cornerback, you moss on him? GK? Yeah. What? Is that having it? He he not a football player. He not a football player. Yeah. Uh, all right. And speaking about GP, you got the whole gang. I want to know. I always ask this question when everyone's here. What's the funniest story you guys have together? Every day. Yo, every, day. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Every day. Every day. Especially this nigga, the funniest thing ever. Why is he? Why why are you the funniest one? Every story every five minutes. Man. Yeah, we, we tell stories every day. Bro. Uh, what's one story you want to share to the fans like that they don't even, they don't know yet? Mm, stories I tell them because we got mad. At them, bro. Yeah, can't say sad stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't tell you how sad stories. When I say that, look, this is what I tell them, bro. It's too many. It's too many. Right? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to see. Oh, I'm trying to see. You're right. Going down the block. You oh, flying down the block. Oh, LG, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was one day. For me, we, we just on city bikes. Just on city bikes first came out. We brought in shit. We go around the hood. You find a bitch and be like, all right, yeah, let's go chill with the bitch. So, we, we play with the bitches, they start chasing us the so we run. We start running like on a bike, like flying. I guess his brake had messed up. <laughs> so right. we, the thing in front of the seat bike, it was way landing. I went through my tire and stopped. So we but we going hundred miles per hour. This nigga did a front flip. Oh the bike. Over the bike. Yeah, the yeah, over the car. On the car? Yeah, I landed, but my name, the car just stopped, it's about to go over my head. Lady was like, You alright? No, like, yeah, I'm got I gotta start going again. We were just weak, bro. Right. But we look, we got like that. You look back. He was flying off the front of the bike. He was flying. We got more down the block. We stole somebody else's bike. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a city bike, though. It was they everywhere. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, then, yeah. how did you guys all meet then? Like, you know, the funny story. Family. Family? Living in the hood together. They walk outside, you see him. Oh, Anything. what part of Brooklyn you guys are from? You guys are from Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Downtown Brooklyn. Downtown mm-hmm. Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. So, you guys knew each other since like elementary, middle school, and stuff yeah. like that. So, I know. He was young on blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and who was the first person in the group to become a rapper? Um, my cousin. Your cousin? Oh, I, right. oh, I, I don't know. Like, it's two groups for me, like the older bros. Oh, right. and, then, and then how about the, and the younger bros? Who was the first? Um, shit. Probably me. Right. So, um, when you first started rapping, out, who was the first person in the group that looked at you and was like, yo, you about to be a star. Like, who was that first person? Shit. Everybody like that. Like Everybody? That. The whole group, yeah. Mm. When you, and when you first started rapping, what did you um, got the hang of first? Was it the lyrics? Was it the flow? The flow, yeah. Flow. What do you think is important? The type of beats. Huh? Like, what do you think is important then, right now? Beats. Beats? Gotta have that beat. Like, you can say nothing. You can literally say nothing. But that beat just make everybody go crazy. All right. Because I know there's a lot of niggas that don't be saying nothing, bro. What is one song you heard that just the beat carried and like, the person was just saying nothing, but like you still fuck with the song, but the beat was like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like no, no, no. <laughs> it's a song he made. Called Yaya. <laughs> Yaya. He said nothing, but the beat just fire. <laughs> well, you just saying Yaya the whole time. Yeah, just yeah. Around. We just playing around, but it's like maybe a hit. We drop that, maybe a hit. Might be a hit. Yeah. Uh, all right. Hot. And you have another fellow rapper right next to you, Gpay. Mm-hmm. How has he helped you as a rapper? Yeah. How have you guys bounced off each other? Like, I'll be fake helping him, but for me, but like he be telling me like, yo, yo, to the stool, like, shit like that. But I be wanting him to rap more, because for me, he could be the one to make it. I, for me, I, he just be the one for me, like, because he don't rap like that. So like, he can make one out of nowhere, and like, for me, just, oh, he already up. So now like, I'm making one with him, and we both cushy. Right? right. Who do you think has the um, best work ethic in the group? Like, who just keeps working? Like, you see them. Oh, oh yeah. Trying to go to the studio every day. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, be trying, I be trying to get them to keep going, bro. All right. So, what, why do you not want to keep going? Like, you know, why are you just dropping music? Is there something, like, you don't want to do it? You want to try to tap into something else? Or you think rap, you think you can make it rap? Nah, it's not that. It's like the beats. I'm just mad picky. Yeah. Like, I don't like, I, like, I can't rhyme on certain beats. Mm-hmm. Me, so. And I get the beats. Who are some of your favorite producers right now? Shit. Me? Produced by Kel. It's the other thing. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's 24-something. Baby, I don't know the beats. Can you stop? All right. 
Are you in tune with the whole sample drill? Yeah, right. but you're not dragging that. I I like it. I fuck with it, shit. Like, but that's mm-hmm. not really my thing. But like, now I fuck with it. Right. I'm really into it. But like at first, I was looking at it. I didn't really like it at first. But now, like on well, them type of beats, I just freestyle. That's that's really that's my first type of flow. Before I did the drill, I was fucking with that type of flow. So now I can just freestyle. All right. So you, you freestyle most of your songs, then you don't write yeah. your lyric music, write yeah. your music no more. Nah, like I write my music, but like I feel like I freestyle. People like when I freeze that. Like, I'm like, What's, why, why would I take my time and write if nobody really give me the type of views? Like, the songs I really write, people don't view it. Like, I get like 20K. As soon as I be freestyling, I be in like 100K. I'm like, oh, all right, so fuck it. I'm just going with the freestyling section. Then, freestyling, what do you think was the best verse you ever spat? Listen up. Listen up. Uh, what what bar do you think is just like, what, you, what bar do you think went over people's heads that you, you had to clarify, like, this is what it meant? Mm-hmm. That, listen up. Yeah. Shit, I said mad shit though, bro. I don't, I don't know, like, nah. I feel like nobody understand this part when I, when I, when I, when I first started type shit. When I first came on, I feel like nobody understood when I first came on. Like when I first had, like you know when I first started. Mm. Yeah, I feel like nobody understood that. I, I, we understood that at the group, cause for me, nobody else understood that. But if they do understand it. Oh, I get it now. Oh, matter of fact, I do. I do got. A, I do got a part. All right, what's the part? When I said when I said um, when I said we play for the pack. Pla- I said we play for the Packers. No Green Bay and my quarterback not Aaron Rodgers. Nobody, nobody understood that. But for me, everybody else understood that. Everyone over everybody else had. I'm surprised some people really understood what I said though. All right. All right. So, uh, you always making music with Rich Glizzy. Do you guys consider yourself like a duo? Yeah. Or why why are you guys consider you to do it? I really feel like we're the best I ain't gonna lie, but for me. Okay. I just feel like when we're in the stool, we just vibe off each other. Go off the top. Like it's like any any beat, bro, we just we just know. That's why we're trying to add him to the duo for me. So make a trio. <laughs> All right. But he, he gonna start catching on after a while. Do you guys feel like as a collective, you guys are the best group coming out of New York right now? Of course. Of course. Of course. Why do you guys feel like that? It's like nobody's like us. Not <laughs> it's like different. nobody young. Different. Like, different. But yeah, like behind the scenes, if you niggas a lot of niggas will see behind the scenes, they don't see why. Well. Like niggas will see behind the scenes, you don't see why. Well. And with rapping, you know, once you become mainstream, how do you guys gonna get back to the hood? Like how you guys wanna get back to your to your community? Shit, pull up on the guys, get back. Everybody got me stew session, got their videos for me, got me good on the it for me, give it back. Alright, alright. Now, how you want to give back, you know? That's a fact. Same way. Same way? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I take niggas I was doing. I take the niggas I was doing. Wait, can't leave you, nigga. Right. And that leads into the collective. It's called FNO TDG, right? Yeah. What does that stand for? Fear no one. I'm not going to say fear no one. TDG stands for take that one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you guys want to change, change, turn that into like a label? Yeah. Label? Right. Are you guys playing to sign artists or just yeah. your group? Six seven. Now six seven gonna be legal. That's the other six seven. Because yeah. I mean, it's a lot of rap. Like it's not. It's not only us the rappers. It's, we got it's a lot more. Name right? all of them. You know, this is the first interview. Name drop all of them. I want. Me, me G P R T G. For me, Brish, my son Brish Freddy. Mm. Can't forget my son Brish Freddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it, right? That's all. K O D A. Oh, how can I forget K O D A? K O D A till these niggas don't start. I never heard that before. I heard that line? Yeah. That's my son, KVDA. We got some shit coming soon. Yes, How do you feel about, I want to get into this, because I've seen that one of your songs got leaked with B-Love. Yeah. Forever. How do you feel about unreleased music? Like, why Why do you think fans just want just release their music? Like, do you get tight when they... Yeah, I feel like that's weird. Like, I feel like that was weird, bro. Um, All right. Do you think, like, that ruins, like, the song? Because now everybody knows, like, everybody already knows the song. They already played it out. Two months and now when a video comes, I already know this one. I don't care about the video. All right. And speaking about fans, what was like the weirdest fan interaction you had? Mm, oh, it's a lot of uh, people keep making fake pages and shit. I don't like that. Like people make fake pages, start problems, put our names in it, and now people people coming to me in person and shit. Like for me, it's maybe mad weird shit, bro. That's how I know I'm really getting attention up. Okay, okay. Oh. Would you want to turn like rap into like tap into other endeavors like fashion or? Any of that other stuff, or you want to just continue just in the music? 
Would you say repeat that? Like you want to turn rapping into like fashion, like into like. Would you want to get into fashion? You know, how, like some rappers turn rapping into like fashion. You know, like ASAP nice. Rocky and stuff like facts. that. Or so, so what are some of your favorite fashion brands? Uh, keep those mirrors on our waist. What else we keep? The yours on our feet. How can we forget the Iron Man suits? <laughs> 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 you keep a lot of drip. Maybe it's real. Like, oh, gotta keep it with them texts. We love them texts. That's the movement. I think it's yours. Oh. We, we made I think it's yours. I know. <laughs> we made I think it's yours. We don't got them all right now, but keep them. Yeah. This is a different type of day. Yeah. Yeah, they're around, they're, they're around. Right it's because not only that, me and I'm on two boys behind y'all the scenes. The two boys behind the scenes. Alright, and then you say you started Ethical Wave, and you also, we spoke off camera that, you know, one of the people that started with you guys was Kalo. You know, he came in here, he, we asked him the question saying, who do you think has the most talent to make an industry? He said, you. Um, how did you meet, link up with Kalo, and like, how's that connection? Like, does anytime you hit him up, he was always going to shoot your video? Yeah, it was one time I just. I was in the stool one time with some female, some female. She was showing me, God, I, I never, look, it was my first time about to shoot a video, it was my first vid. I'm like, yo, well, not my first vid, but like my first real vid. So I made the song, I'm like, damn, I gotta shoot this. But like for me, they were like, it's a party, come on, you can shoot this party. I'm like, where? So I, I don't know who video me to shoot, everybody for me. And she showed me, she's like, yo, it's just a video, it's before quote, even got like, clock and shit. But for me, he was, he was shooting vids. He showed me, like, she showed me, I'm like, oh, fuck this vid. She's like, I'm gonna hit him for you. I'm like, fuck, I'm hitting myself. I hit him. As soon as I hit him, we got my bond. He put me on, he like, yo, yeah, I got you. Ever since that first vid, my son just like, keep coming. Right. And he felt like you're very underrated. So, like, do you feel like you're underrated in this? Yeah. Where, and coming from Brooklyn, you see the Bronx is like, right now, everyone say Bronx got it. How yeah. are you and your collectors going to take back that crown and bring it back to Brooklyn? Fuck them, niggas. We started this shit, nigga. You know we started it. Fuck this, niggas, talk about. Nah, for me, like, watch, we're gonna, we gonna get it back. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna trust. Yeah. I got some shit in the style. I got some, sh I got Matt. Don't, this, all this music I'm, that's on YouTube right now, really nothing compared to what I got in the stash right now. Mm -hmm. When I drop, we're gonna take everything back. I'm trying to tell you. And speaking of the stash, when can we see upcoming music? When's the next single you drop in? Um, shit. I got. I just shot a video last week. Some shit called Hollis. It's coming soon, and I got. I got a couple vids that's about to drop. Like I got one vid with me and Rich Glizzy. That's about to go crazy. Mm. Gangsta. Right. Are you planning to drop a tape? Yeah, we. I was, gangsta. I was saying that. I was there talking to my manager about that shit. Okay. Is it be a solo tape, or? Nah, probably a solo. Probably one with Rich Glizzy. You don't know. Okay. Or even the stats wasn't the stats for a reason. Okay, or an F and O tape, have the whole gang, you know what I mean? Like I might do that too. Alright, you know, get Six seven the label tape. Six seven. I told you it's more it's not only us for me, it's everybody. Yeah, bringing like your cousin that you're speaking on rap and I was like, or I I know you don't want to get into the tape, but I just wanna know, is it gonna be different from just drill? Are you gonna add into different like type of sounds? Man, all types of music. All type of music? Uh, really, 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 really like, that's that simple. Lost everybody fucking the simple. So I'm gonna do that simple. I'm gonna start fucking with it just cause everybody wanna. Alright. Do you wanna cater your music to like your homeboys or you wanna cater to females? Mm -hmm. I want the guys to feel me. Fuck the bitches, bro. <laughs> I want the guys to feel me, bro. That's so why I, I make bitches for the, the gang, for the stuff, for the hood. I'm just, but I see the that shit not gaming no way. It's gaming places, like for me, niggas feel me. But I'm not gonna switch up my flow because. Everybody was doing it. I'm a different nigga. I'm gonna keep my same shit. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some shit. But I'm gonna keep my same flow. Where was like the farthest fan that hit you up? Like, oh, I fuck with your music. Like, like if California or even the UK. Yeah, UK, UK. UK. California. There's love from everywhere. Love from everywhere. Have you ever performed? Nah. Nah. When can we see a performance from you? When do you think you setting that up soon or? Nah, I ain't setting nothing up yet. Nah, nah, yeah. All right. And speaking, for and speaking about fans, how do you feel like, you know, now you walk around your your block and all that and these kids are coming up to you? Yo, I want to take a flick with you. How's that feeling? You know what I'm saying? I always like to ask that question because, you know, you probably want to be a mentor to the youth that looks up to you. Nah, yeah, shit feel good. The other day, I was riding. I think when y'all was with me, no, nah, I think Swerve was in my son Swerve. He was with me, he was riding on a bike and shit. Some girl came out and she was like, that's Rich Nunu. I ain't, bro, I don't, be, I don't be thinking I'm really that type of, that type of, like, got that type of attention yet. But for me, niggas be telling me, like, you got that type of attention. I don't really think so, because I be seeing other rappers. Shit, I be like, I gotta stop thinking that, y'all. I really, for me, I'm really out there. 
I be seeing niggas be saying, niggas be saying, niggas be thinking, oh, he shit fine. I be seeing a lot of rappers listening to my shit. I'm like, oh, my shit really out there? That shit crazy. What was one rapper, speaking of rappers listening to, what was one rapper you were surprised that, like, they were tuned in? I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say some of my other shit. It's a lot of rappers. It'd be a lot of rappers, I'm trying to tell you. But for me, my side, my side, Eli Frost, Gangsta. He took me to the video show and all that. Took me to the video show. His even tuned in. Oh, I, I think I know the winner's circle, right? Like the yeah, whole. they was telling me and shit. It was like, for me, his his pops, like, put him over. My pops fuck with him and shit. So. All right, all right. So they was like, they was fake telling me like, oh. Matter of fact, not even, not only Elon, but for me, the rest Shut of the yeah. yeah. Sleepy. They was like, yeah, they be listening we to us. We working with them too. It's in the box. It's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, a lot in the box. Like, you know, so speaking about a lot of box, what do you want to accomplish by the end of the year? When December happens, Rich Nunu needs to, need this to be accomplished. It needs to be done. Mm -hmm. A meal. A meal? Me do you think you have that song in the stash already? Yeah. Or, all right. Got a couple of those in the stash. Yeah. <laughs> couple? All right. All right, all right. And this is my last question. I always ask this question to everyone. When you make it up in mainstream and people start bringing up your names like Kanye and stuff like that, and you make an impact, what type of impact do you want to leave on the rap game? When people bring up Rich Nunu, what should be right next to it? And even the FNO gang, if you guys want to um, chip in. I want to everybody remember this. Six, seven. That number, that's the jersey number. Everybody back. Everybody remember that six seven. Mm. Like, my son got a tie. You my son got a tie. Show me a tie. Now. I got a tie. Like you said. You tell me you got six gotta seven. Be one song. You can make it for one song. All right. One song be the one that get you all the whole, your whole family up. Gangsta. All right. Just write it down. You heard it one time. And is there anything you guys want to say to the fans and audience that's going to be tuned into this interview before we lock, we leave? Yeah, I gotta say something. There was a fake Instagram out there. <laughs> that's not, not me, bro. That's a fact. I said you post it. Not you, bro. That shit is not it's me, It's a fake page. Like, it's going around saying everybody's name. Keep talking about it. We don't care. Look, we don't know y'all. Yeah, we don't know y'all. No, Get off all. I mean, I've seen people diss me. I don't know y'all. I'm not dissing y'all back. I'm not dissing y'all right back. Right right. I'm not dissing y'all back. Y'all can suck my dick. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say y'all names. Stop dissing me. You're not going to diss me back. I'm going to soon be in the middle of your soon be up there. You know, I'm going to get my name. The fuck? We young bo What's that name, Major boss. <laughs> Major. <laughs> Y'all for me to be on top block. <laughs> so where can people find you at? What's your real IGs? What? Oh, yeah. Let me, let me, yeah, yeah, show them real. Let me show you real snaps. Everything. This is the real snaps. This is me right here. This is me. This is me. See that right there? That's one of them real things. If I don't say major boss, <laughs> go right. I got free the guys on my profile picture. If I don't say keep it on me. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't say keep it on me, it's not me, because I keep it on me every day. <laughs> <laughs> we go anywhere without that's my Nowhere. See this right? That's my son G. Oh, let me show you my snap too, because a lot of snaps are. Show me show you. For the bitch I got at me. Oh, yeah, them snaps. I don't bite, so at me. <laughs> yeah, but I don't got Snapchat right now. He don't got Snapchat for me. Keep it on us every day, we got Snapchat. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be we out. Thank you for Rich Nino coming through.